The jointless surface system is available under the name Futado. The described floor structure consists of the following layers or products. Fabric and base filling with Futado stability. Height leveling with Futado leveling compound. Prime with Futado fixed grid. Cement floor with Futado white and pigment plus resin for the color FU203 limestone beige. Seal with Futado sealing wax plus hardener, one time glossy and one time matte. The old tiled floor is first cleaned with a leaching or degreasing agent mixed with water. The liquid is applied thickly with a brush and spread over the surface. By acidifying, let the wetness work for about 20 minutes, old residues are removed. Then thoroughly wash the tile surface with a mop using neutral water. Then let the surface dry. The primer is the Haftgrund Special, which is rolled up lengthwise and crosswise with a pie roller. Drying time 1 to 1.5 one hours. In the transition between different rooms, it may be necessary to install a separate reinforcement in the threshold area. For example, tiled floor to beam construction. For this purpose, a fabric sheet with a 10 cm overlap is laid over the entire surface. With a stable dry mortar, a basic filling is produced. Mix the powder with so much water that a consistency similar to applesauce is created. Then, the material must be lightly rubbed into the reinforcement fabric to level the joint grid. Proceed in partial areas, that means always mix new material and work wet in wet. Product change for the exposed floor, primer, filler powder, pigment and resin. This will result in the new floor, which replaces the old tiles, the old floor modern and trendy. First, a primer is applied with a thick fur roller. This ensures an optimal adhesion. Now weigh the powder in buckets of 5 kg each. Depending on the size of the area, prepare several buckets. For a floor area of 13 square meters, 6 buckets are required. Then place a bag of pigment on a container of resin, 5.5 liters each. Close the canister and shake the contents well. The liquid must then be transferred to another vessel up to an exact quantity of 1150 milliliter. Then place in another larger processing bucket. The micro cement powder is filled into this bucket. The mixing ratio per bucket must always be observed. Mix powder and pigment resin liquid well. The quantity is sufficient for about 5 square meters of floor space. If a second person prepares these buckets, the material can be applied more quickly. In doing so, repeatedly pulling material out of and into the depth of the surface. Avoid sharp boundaries between the partial surfaces and work diagonally in space. After at least three hours drying time, or more, depending on room situation, air humidity, thicker burrs or unevenness must be scrapped off with the towel edge. Then vacuum everything clean, because now follows the application of the last layer of filler. Also apply the last layer of filler thinly. Warp the material and press on. Make sure that the layer thickness is even. Especially for the last layer, it is important to work quickly wet in wet to achieve a uniform surface appearance. A first overall impression after completion of the second job. And at least one hour after completion, the steel trowel can be used again after having checked that it can be walked on the floor. After complete drying out, a continuous fine sanding with 18 grit sanding disc is carried out. 
as preparation for the final sealing. For the remaining areas, a hand sander is required and corresponding 8mm abrasive fleece is applied. For example, the edge areas can be treated or the floor surfaces under radiators. With an extraction system, the process remains dust-free. Last but not least, surface protection. A two-component sealing wax system is used for this purpose, consisting of component A, the primer, and component B, the hardener. We use the gloss version for the first coating application. One part is filled into a bucket. This allows a more exact mixing. The hardener is added in the prescribed quantity. Then everything is stirred well. We start at the areas close to the wall and paint a wider strip with a radiator brush. For the large area, a nylon roller, pocket varnish roller does not make air bubbles, with diameter of about 16 mm is best suited. Work lengthwise and crosswise. Also during the second coating process, after at least three hours and now with the matte version, guide the roller with light pressure. Finished. <laughs>